Hello. Now that we know the difference between a tier one, tier two, tier three words, let's practice. Um, here is a third grade passage called Outer Space, and I'm going to read the very first paragraph, and I'm going to circle tier one, tier two, and tier three words. Not all of them, but just a sample. It says, from far out in space, Earth looks like a blue ball. So a tier one word would be that word ball, because that's a word that everybody should know. And easily, it comes up a lot in uh, conversation. Space might be another word that I would call a tier one word. So now I'm going to keep searching and see if I can find any tier two words. So I'm going to change my color. Let's go with orange. Since water covers three fourths of the Earth's surface, blue is the color we see the most. The continents look brown, like small floating island small islands floating in a huge blue sea. I would say floating would be a good tier two word. We will see floating and different, different topics, different subjects, but it's not necessarily a word we use every day. I would also say that continents might be a tier three word. It's not a word that comes up very often. It's more of a word that we use in social studies. While clouds wrap around the earth like a light blanket, the earth is shaped like a sphere. Sphere could be a tier three word because it's very specific, or you might make an argument that it could also be a tier two word. And the word, a word like cloud would be a tier one word. It's a word that comes up often. So hopefully you can see the example and how I think through what a tier one and a tier two and a tier three word would be.